as the tumor shrinks, the plan actually we have done may not match exactly. So you have to change that plan. So this can be done offline or online or real time or conventional. So in offline uh, adaptive radiotherapy, the patient will be given some margins and frequently the imaging has been taken like a cone beam CT or daily imaging. And once the margin changes, the plans again will be adapted to the average changes. In conventional, we generally do is take a CT scan after a few weeks, again, replan re according to the changes and deliver. And online, this is like daily imaging will be taken as well as smallest margin required can be given based on daily changes. So every day, if there is change, again, the plan will be changed automatically and it immediately the replan calculator will be delivered. So why do we need this? Due to change in the contours, or especially if you are giving the head and neck or somewhere area, there may be weight loss in the body and the neck may go slimmer or the contours which we have done may not exactly match. So to this may uh, either lead to missing of the tumor or lead to uh, irradiating more of the normal tissues. So to avoid this, adaptive radiotherapy is an excellent technique. So here you can see in the graph, uh, Parotids are more, uh, the most important things in head and neck, which uh, almost always uh, go through a lot of uh, changes or radiation because you will be giving through the beams from here, here and all. As the tumor shrinks, these parotids may go into the area of higher, higher dose area. So to prevent all this, you if you replan this, again, you can save these parotids. So you can see how much difference you can get with uh, without adaptive planning and with adaptive planning. So one more newer technique which has been used is helical tomotherapy. As I previously said, it is a LINAC uh, mounted on a CT scan. So as the CT scan, uh, there is a helical motion. The LINAC also keeps on continuously going through the helical motion and delivers the radiation in a helical manner. And this uh, specialty of tom tomotherapy is it has binary MLCs. That means there are MLCs all through the 360 degrees. They can open, close independently. In normal MLCs, they have to come through a continuous way. But in binaries, then there is no need of continuation. They can open anywhere. They can close anywhere. So even if the in, in between in this uh, irradiation area, if you want to spare some organ in between, you can do with the tomotherapy, which you cannot do with normal linear accelerators. And the high level radiation, stereotactic radiation therapy, which is into prominence in the last few years, this is we generally call SRS, SBRT, SABR, that is stereotactic ablative body radiation. So here, what we do is you can deliver a very high dose of radiation in a single fraction or fractions like three to five. So if, instead of giving 30 days, some 60, 60 gray and all, like two, two gray per day, here you can deliver like 12 gray, 20 gray in a single fraction, thereby achieving the high biological effective dose and uh, effective tumor control. But this can only be done if uh, it uh, falls into certain criteria, like not two big ones, as well as the volume should be less and also that uh, tumor shape should be in accordance with our planning parameters. This can be done using a frame or frameless. Frame is the gamma knife, which uh, puts up a frame onto the head so that it won't move. And this high precision radiation can be directly generated into that area. Frameless is the cyber knife. Cyber knife has the capability of detecting your motion. So it doesn't need a frame. You can simply be on a back lock and the cyber knife utilizes different techniques uh, like skull 6D skull technique or uh, synchrony respiratory or fiducial techniques to track the motion precisely sub millimeter level and can generate the beams. And also it generates this beam dividing into thousand parts from diff thousand angles. So the radiation beam which goes will be very minute in particular angle, but all will come and fuse at the main uh, tumor area to give the full dose. So thereby, uh, virtually the dose received by other areas or the normal tissues is virtually near to zero. So side effects will be very, very minimal or less. 
So as I said, this is the gamma knife, which uh, you can see here, the shear tactic frame will be fixed here and the radiation will be gen uh, generated over through this fixed frame. And it has two not one cobalt sources to deliver this with a few certain angles, but cyber knife has even more number of angles. And this is a linear accelerator to deliver uh, radio surgery capabilities. Here, the, sometimes they will use the brain lab for uh, radiation to CNS tumors. And uh, this precisely can give high amount of radiation in less amount of time. And uh, these are uh, optimizations done to a linear to deliver uh, these things. So not all linear accelerators can do this. They should have that capable equipment. So this is the cyber knife, which we are talking till now. It is a six MV Linac mounted on a six degree robotic couch. This can move in any angle you give and it can detect and it can always go in a thousand nodes surrounding a particular treatment point. So this has very good advantage of uh, sub millimeter accuracy and uh, delivering high dose with very less side effects. And here are the X-ray continuous X-ray generating uh, mo uh, roof mounted x-rays. These keep on giving the imaging every 15 seconds to track the movement of the part. So their advantages are frameless. You can give simultaneous irradiation of multiple lesions, which cannot be done using a gamma knife. And uh, it doesn't need head frame. So you can stage the treatment. You don't need to do everything in a single day. And it has patients, uh, patients will be very compliant and will be happy. Real-time organ positioning and movement correction facility is also available with that. And it is having superior inverse optimization solutions.